Hello, today I'm going to show you how to pull and bench bleed a 99 Ford Ranger XLT 2.5 model clutch. Uh, all the Ranger clutches should be relatively the same to be honest with you, trim and engine don't really matter. As you can see I've already removed the power box right there and it's just these two, all you have to do is just pull them back. There's the flathead screwdriver and uh, you just lift it right up, it comes right out. I've taken out the cap and the plastic insert and filled it with fluid and the first thing that I'm going to do is run the fluid through the entire system so that the slave doesn't have any bubbles in it. So we're going to completely fill this up right here, fill up the reservoir and then we're going to go underneath and unscrew it until it is running a solid stream. I am laying upside down, but here's your transmission, and there's your bleeder screw. What you're going to do is pop that little rubber boot off, and you're going to slide a 5 16 ratchet right in there, and you're just going to pop it open a little bit, and I tend to like to unscrew it. And you're just going to let it bleed out nice, clean stream. You know, remember, you don't want any air bubbles in there. Right, once you've bled that and you've tightened it back up, we're going to go ahead and remove this right here. Now, this piece is a little bit tricky. What you need to do is you got to kind of push it in. Then you're going to use your flathead screwdriver to come right here. And then you're going to push this all the way in all the way around. The white thing you want to push all the way in all the way around. And it's a little difficult to do at first but once you get the hang of it it's really simple. I forgot to mention once you push in the the white piece once it's all the way in there you want to go ahead and just give it a little tug back and it'll pop out. To the reservoir you need to watch out make sure you don't run completely out of fluid when you're doing that. It doesn't matter very much but you don't want to get any air bubbles back into the, the slave cylinder when we're doing this. So try to keep it, you know, a little bit in there, at least, when it's bleeding through. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go ahead and put the little rubber thing in there. And the top back on. I'm just going to give it a quick screw in, that way we can not spill everything everywhere. We're actually going to remove this and we do that by pulling that bolt right there and then this whole piece just slides back. And now that we got that out of the way, you can see that this is your actual clutch right here. That's your pedal. And it all comes out from the inside, so we're going to go inside the cab now. Cab, or in the cab rather, looking up at the clutch pedal. And that's the clutch pedal right here. Now right behind it. See this little doohickey. And what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze these and slide it out. It slides right up when you squeeze these. Piece off of it. What you're going to do is just slide it right out. It is spring loaded. And you can pull it up a bit if you need to, but you shouldn't really have to. And then you're going to pop that out of the way. Now, let's see if I can get an angle on it. There you go. Now mine is already out, but I had a nightmare of a time with this and I never put it back in. There is a ring that goes around the inside that keeps this from coming out at all. You will not be able to pull this out until you get that stupid little ring that's in there. Um, you can use a, a, I believe that I used a sharp flathead screwdriver and I had to just wedge and pry that thing out. It is a nightmare. So, you know, good luck with that one. Okay. Now once you get that out, what you're going to do is you're actually going to rotate this. You're probably going to need a pair of pliers. And you're going to rotate it till it fits that square. See how it's kind of wedged in? It goes up into the square motion and then you rotate it and it locks in. So what you got to do is rotate it back so that it, uh, it pops through. So, our next step though, is going to be to 
me see if I can see it yet. You want to pull this little pin off because that's going to release the lever from the pedal. All right. Once you get that level off the pedal, what you're going to do is, sorry, my camera decided to delete my last uh, recording and I've already gotten that out, so I'm just going to tell you how to do it. The clutch is going to be right here. You're going to see the black thing and it's going to have a seal surrounding it. What you're going to do is you're going to pop that seal, okay, and you're going to twist it so that it matches up and it'll come out easily. From there, I usually just drop it down here and by dropping it down there, you'll see the entire thing and system go right there and it'll just fall right on the floor and then you can grab it and bring it over here. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hang your reservoir high, okay? So we got our pedal and our line to the, to the slave. You're gonna hang your reservoir up and you're gonna fill it with fluid. What you're gonna do is come down here and I usually give it a little shake. Oh, you should probably definitely put the cap on after that. And we're going to give this a little shake, because a lot of times air bubbles will get trapped in there. Alright. Give it a little shake, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your hand, and the other hand you're going to hold this, and you're going to kind of try to push on it. And if you can't really push on it, odds are you got some pretty decent pressure. But if you can get any kind of leeway in there, if it's not hard as a rock, chances are you, you should have been bleeding it like this anyway. So after that, we're going to come down here. And you're going to see this little white thing. I'm going to take a, a little screwdriver. We're going to just gently push on it and let the fluid flow out. All right. And we let that bleed just a little bit. Just got a little bit out. The next thing I like to do is I like to hold this up. And then we are going to take that pin out that's in there. It's much easier to get to when it's like this. And we're going to pull that rod up, out and it's going to start overflowing out of the top right there. So I'll show you what that looks like. Bit of a pull, but it's going to do that. And then, oh no, I am running out of fluid. So we're going to set this down. We're going to fill that back up. Same thing all over again. You can pull out. You see how it's overflowing? All right, the next thing that you're going to do, after you do that, you're going to turn this sideways and you're gonna tap this line. Just keep tapping it and shaking it and make sure to hold it up. Because what you're trying to do is get all the air bubbles that are in this line to come all the way up. You wanna make sure that they come around because some of them get trapped in there. You wanna just keep shaking it. If you got a screwdriver, just sit there and tap it. And never go higher than the reservoir though. Gravity and all. So you keep doing that, just keep shaking it, bring it back. Pop your screwdriver right in there and wait for it to overflow. At this point, your rod, if you try to push it in, should be hard as a rock, should be stiff as heck. And uh, you're gonna go ahead and put your black thing back in, screw the cap back on, and you have officially bled your system for the pedal. Um, if you have any further problems, unfortunately it's going to be with your slave, most likely. Um, at this point, just go ahead and put it back in, put the video on, rewind, and it'll show you exactly how to do it.